Hi, welcome to Flutter Junction. Today we are going to learn how to build the uh, shareable executable file of Flutter project. And before that, if you haven't subscribed the channel, please subscribe and uh, press the bell icon to get notified and upcoming videos. And then in this tutorial, uh, we are going to build the executable file of this demo project. We have this uh, button and we have this uh, uh, account shown and for that I have already uh, have my project created windows app uh, created and then to create the executable file we need to have the release executable file and for that we are going to we must have to run flutter build windows and this creates the release executable executable file and it may take some time and for building our shareable executable file we are going to use the inno setup downloader uh, compiler and for that you can download this uh, software from the jrsoftware.org and uh, you can find this uh, link in this description below and and after going on this link and you find this uh, section uh, inno setup that 2.1.exe and then select on this uh, sites and click on any of the link for now i selected the random site and you will have your uh, this uh, software downloaded install it you need to have this project installed and so right double click on this and you will have the prompt open to open uh, to install the project uh, software and I already have this uh, software installed so I will uh, cancel it for now and you after uh, installing this uh, you know setup compiler we click double click on this software and open this and then we select on create a new script file using the script wizard after selecting uh, checking this uh, uh, create a new script file we click on ok and then we again click on next and then our application name would be Flutter uh, Junction test and then application version 1.0 and publisher that is Flutter Junction and you can also input your application website for now I am going to delete this website you can install your uh, website here and then click on next and then application destination base folder that means where our project will be installed after creating the executor file that means uh, our program file suitable that means we are going to say this uh, executor file created on the program files folder and then we click on next again and then application main executor file and then the executable file we created running this flutter build windows is found in our project and then click on build windows and then runner and release and here we have this uh, executable file and then we have to browse it here I am going to copy this URL and paste here and then we have we select this test windows app and click on ok and then we need to add our files and folder that are presented in this release folder and without this our application won't run so we need to open uh, add these uh, files and folders in this release folder so we select on add files and then we select the flutter windows and uh, after when the project is bigger you will have these uh, files uh, different files you need to select all these files uh, so that our uh, project get installed easily so and then we click on open and again we have this data folder in this release so we need to add this data folder also and we again go into our you know, setup and then we click on add folder and then we go to this tedious uh, process 
go to finder project this is my project test windows app build windows runner build windows runner and then release and we have this data uh, your project build windows runner release navigate to this folder from here and then we select this data folder and click on ok and we have this from should uh, files in the subfolder of this and we select yes and this and then we need to install this uh, data on our uh, folder when installing and uh, for that we give the destination subfolder data the same name we have here and then we select ok don't forget we need to double click on this folder data and then give the destination subfolder and then click on ok right now we then click on next and our uh, application file name will be and we don't need this associate a file to main executable we uncheck this as a option and then we click on next and then create a shortcut and we then we again click on next and license file this means uh, if your application needs a license file you need to add this uh, documents in this license file and other informations uh, regarding your application right and i don't uh, need i don't have any documentation or license file for this project so i leave this empty and then click on next and then end metal internal mode and then we click on next and our language and we click on next and com custom compiler output folder in this folder we are going to save our executable file uh, uh, generated from this script running so we create the folder in our root project new folder and then name it installers and inside this installer we are going to save our uh, generated executable file shareable executable file and then we click on browse again we have to go to this tedious process find your project my project is test windows app and then and then we select the folder that we created before this installer folders installers and then we click on ok and our output base name would be i would say test application and then our icon file the uh, logo or any uh, icon of this application so i click on browse for that we need to have ico file and i have the ico file on the desktop i select and then open and then set up password if you need to set up the password uh, you need to you can enter the password here uh, i don't need any set of password so i click on next and then we again click on next and then finish and you will have this uh, dialog opened and then we again click on next and click on yes and then we are going to save this iss file on our same application we created a folder we created before on our root application this is installers we are going to save our iss file and i will name it uh, my exe iss and then save and it may take some time to get our script uh, compiled right we have our executable file generated and you can see this test application and this application can be installed or shared shared with your uh, friends and you can uh, publish it on the windows store also and then when we install it again and then flutter junction test yes create test yes next and install and then finish now we have our 
file installed and it's working fine and to see if our project uh, is installed application executed file is installed or not we go we navigate to our control panel and then we can see here our find our application floater junction test version 1.0 and we have our uh, project installed on our computer fine this much for today i i thought um, i think you have learned how to create the exe file from this tutorial and if you have any uh, queries regarding this tutorial please ping me in comment section and if you have uh, if you like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and share it with your friends and thank you